Oh, that's screaming, all right. That's more than a scream. That's it's a passion scream. Ah, Dale. Over here, Saheed. <laughs> What's going on, Clutch? Squat. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Duck. It's your boy, Ross. And we're in the clutch, baby. Hey, back to you, ladies and gentlemen. Another picture today. You feel me? Well, we checked out one of the world's coldest cities, so it only made sense to check out one of the world's hottest cities. 140 mm -hmm. degrees. Wait, 140 degrees. Heat. Heat. So hell. Yeah, it was probably it's probably like the entrance gate. I'm, I'm willing to bet hell is way hotter. <laughs> it's like the entrance gate. It's like the pre warm up. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be seven times hotter than the sun, right? Yeah. <laughs> Even it is for me. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna check this out for my guy who always finds himself in these uh, interesting situations to uh, entertain us, man. <laughs> yeah, that's the one that be having the signs not to keep going. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah my yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not Ross's toilet. What? Who? Who said that? Why? This is why. This is why we you not. We... Did you ever finish that chicken sandwich? Or... Oh, no, I threw that way. I left that alone. I, that, it wouldn't. Nope, wasn't about to try. All right, let's get into this. My man's about to suffer for our entertainment. Let's get. Degrees. He better than me. <laughs> Look at him. The, the start of the BET movie. This nigga walking in the hot sand too. Dramatic. Come on, bro. Go oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> Many places claim to be the hottest Hell in no. the world, such as Iran's Lut Desert, California's <clears throat> Death Valley, and Algeria's Sahara. But those places are Aladdin. all very remote. As far as cities go, no place on the planet is more scorching than Jahra in central Kuwait. Faisal has an egg, let me see it. And we are about to crack it on his car. The car is 122 degrees Celsius. It's cooked, bro. Today's gonna be what, 52, 53? For the air temperature. I'm flying the drone right now and it says temperature. Your iPhone needs to cool down before you can use it. That's it almost crazy. feels like a steam room and a sauna because of the humidity. I don't know. I was not expecting this humidity here. Uh oh. Ooh, if it's with the humidity, oh no. Hello. <laughs> that humidity adds about a good ten to fifteen degrees on what it really feel like, and bro. Said you're born with a fever out there, bro. Ooh, this is challenging. Just trying to stay outside for more than like 30 minutes at a time is brutal. During the summertime, Kuwait is one of the harshest and most inhospitable environments on earth. And that's exactly why I wanted to visit on the hottest of day course. of the year. That, I'm so curious to as to how people can survive in temperatures that are currently 55 degrees Celsius or 133 degrees Fahrenheit. Wish me luck. All right, let's go to Kuwait. You know that warm, fuzzy feeling you get inside when Adventure Kuwait? See what I did there? You know what? You deserve, you deserve to be there now. Yeah, bro. I, you deserve to eat. I mean, I, I kind of got him, though. You know what nope, I'm nope, he, nope, nope. He deserves it. He kind of Whatever. He about to cook. He about to cook. He deserves about... He deserved the cooking he's about to be served. Mm. <clears throat> you cold, man. It is hot over there. Right. He's about to be hot. Enjoy the summer in Kuwait. How are you? Good to see you, man. Good to see you, man. I met Soliman back in 2016 on my first trip to Kuwait. He is a great guy, a fellow traveler and content creator, and he offered to take me around his country in the blistering hot sunshine. That's what's up, man. We were joined by another friend, Chopra, who helped document our journey into the unknown. Collabs. Right now, in this moment, is the hottest temperature I've never... Dude, have you realized you're colored now? Bro. You turned into red. This is 50 <laughs> SPF. You turned red. 50 SP man, uh, SPF. It is hot, hot. I feel like I'm just walking in a sauna right now. How do you survive the, the summer here? By living indoors? 
with AC. Or go to the beach uh, with right. sunscreen, although I don't think many people do because they want to get tanned. But yeah, yeah. Have you ever had like heat stroke or de extreme dehydration? <clears throat> it happens with one of uh, his colleagues that he, he fall down because of uh, very high temperature mm -hmm. and he's over uh, dehydrated. Look at this. Man, how do you survive this heat? He don't, work, he don't work. He don't work. Button ups. It's very hot. Uh, there is a law in Kuwait that laborers are not allowed to work from 11 o'clock until 3 o'clock. Did you know oh. that is the hottest place in the world? He's saying uh, yes. He know that it's <laughs> too hot, but uh, he thinks that only this farm. <laughs> no, all of Kuwait. All of Kuwait. Okay, right. thank you. Right. Are you hot right uh, now? AC. Why not? Yeah. Because love Kuwait. No, it's very hot. Yeah, little. A little hot. Yeah. For me, too hot. She's so cute. Real quick, guys, I want to let you know about my exciting new product called Link by Just Go. It is a unisex charm bracelet that celebrates in line to secure yours. You're also entered to win a $300 Just be. Go gift card. All right, let's get back to the story. You, you better to be. hide from the sun. So malls are like the place to go and walk and shop and enjoy some coffee shops, <clears throat> restaurants, you know, just like covered place. AC. In the US, we would only go to a mall if we like needed to buy a certain item. And that ones are outdoor, most of them. <laughs> Rest, correct. Yeah. But here, it's like you go to- Niggas go to the mall just to escape just the escape heat. The sun. Hey, you trying to go to- Nigga, duh, let's go to the mall. Let's go walk, man. And be chilling in the, the mall. mall. <laughs> mall because you just want to hang out <clears throat> inside. The only reason I came to Kuwait on this trip is to find out how people are living in the world's hottest city. It's 54 degrees outside. How do you how do you live here? He says, uh, we grow up like that. And as you see, he's drinking a hot coffee or a hot tea now because it's it's like a normal thing. It's hot. Yeah, it's normal. You complain about the weather? So, so he still complain about it because it's hot. <laughs> no. <laughs> so the AC of the car is already broken. It does not work. So we were talking about the 108. The now? No, no, yeah. Yeah. Now? Yeah. What? No AC the in the car? Down? Tripping. When you joke? Oh man. Oh, nah, nah. That AC ain't working. I'm staying where I'm at, bro. Ooh. It ain't that serious, bro. Nope, 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 nope. Cause y'all know if y'all car sitting outside for a while, oh bro, that's a real oven. You walking into a and don't let you have leather. Oh, it's over. It's over. Oh, skin peeling, bro. Ooh. I would think I would die. Since there is literally nothing to do outside right now, we are heading south into the middle of the desert. Many people, including myself, have no idea what exists in Kuwait outside of the urban city life and skyscrapers. And my curiosity is driving me to the countryside. Our only mission right now is to find a place to sleep outside in the desert. We have been heading far down south no. of Kuwait. We're almost at the Saudi border, maybe like 15 kilometers. They are sleeping outside in the heat. There's it's, it's more shit out there in the desert too that's going to come that you got to worry about outside the heat. Hey, man. That's what he's there to find out and us to watch. Right? Deep into the desert we head. I don't even know where we're sleeping tonight. We'll figure it out. We arrived somewhere. I have no idea where we are, actually. I don't even know where he's at. And there's a chef that made us some food. It smells like Indian food, and I'm hungry. <clears throat> wow, look at this. You don't say. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, is that only for three people? Because that, that's enough for Hey, like is it people. bad that I think about this Super 8? videos oh yeah 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 super ray right. <laughs> some, foot, some foot fondue foot fondue delicious <laughs> lentil soup here mm, what's thank soup? you so much thank you thank you <clears throat> put in the soup See? Yeah. you know what i'm saying what I do, like everybody just grab what happened to the spoon <laughs> yeah man hot and said, like, yeah man i haven't had indian food in months i don't know why Oh my god, it's fantastic. Shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just what I needed in my life right now. <laughs> you don't call this Kuwaiti food, like this is Indian food. Or you... that, that's Indian, absolutely. Okay. Butter chicken is yeah. absolutely Indian. But, it's, uh... but we're in Kuwait, though. So, so uh, it's an interesting taste. This is absolutely amazing what? and totally Huh? What'd you say? I say it looks it's an interesting taste. Remember we tried it uh some of the food at one of the spots by the galleria by one of the Oh places. yeah. Um mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's um some things are really, some things are actually good. Some stuff, some stuff is just acquired, and some stuff is just cultural. Like yeah, you, you used to growing up on that. So you uh huh. Know. Unexpected. I thought we'd be eating goat. I don't know. Like <laughs> who knows, man? When you're with oh, Solomon, wow. he always takes care of you. <laughs> so Solomon was telling me that him and his friends come here on Fridays, 
and hang out, eat food, and watch YouTube videos all day, which is really funny. Now, now we're creating a YouTube video, <laughs> and you can watch it in here. I got some AC. That's crazy. <laughs> you guys are flattering me. Right now is the hottest time in Kuwait, and I'm absolutely crazy for coming yes, to Kuwait yes, at this yes. time. That's, that's what he's saying. All right, the damage has been done. That food was fantastic, and now we got to figure out where we're sleeping. We pulled over somewhere in the middle of the desert. I don't know where we are, what? and Sullivan was trying to get a hold of his friend who lives here. He's not picking up. He just left us in the desert. There's no he he literally, like, we're on a we're on a highway. You can see there's cars passing by. <laughs> He's a childhood friend. So there he is. And to Peso. Peso. Peso, what's up, man? How you doing? Good, bro. How are you? I'm good. We're we're sitting here on the side of the road, like stranded, <laughs> waiting to find waiting waiting you, to bro. contact you. I'm almost, I'm almost there. Sorry, sorry for being late. Yalla, okay, yalla, yalla, we'll wait here. Hey, what's hey. up, bro? How are you? Hi, I'm good. What about you? Hey, good to meet you, man. Hey, good to meet you. Where are you? Hello, hello. When I roll down the window, it's I'm stupid, bro. What <laughs> you got going on, bro? <laughs> like they happy you stay in. coming in here. It's like midnight right now. Look, it is midnight. Still said, damn, no hoes, nowhere. This is turning into more of an adventure than I thought. <laughs> That's why you come have, on, uh, man. Oh, yeah. Lord. Uh -uh. Okay. We're good. <laughs> okay. Well, I got the four wheel drive. Cool. You got a clean yeah, car. Why don't you sleep in the car? <laughs> Kuwait is so small, and it's 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 cool to me that we're visiting a place in Kuwait that you've never been. <laughs> Not the it's like a mouse with a long tail. We catch it and we eat it. We okay. make barbecue. Perfect. Let's eat it. Can you catch them? Yeah, sure. Would you like to try? Do you have like a stick or a spear? No, what? not stick. Well, by hand or by a piece of cloth. You can put it on top and catch him. So he he played too much. Bro, these think you... Bro, I'm like, bro, can y'all take me to a hotel or something, yeah, bro? bro like, I'm... I'll finish this part of the video tomorrow. Come These niggas out here looking for a fucking little creature to catch my bro. Uh, they looking for a bunny rat to go and kill <laughs> and cook by hand. Yeah, I'm going home. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of flashlight? We are truly out here in the middle of nowhere, like the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> this is cool. That's the temperature device. Gives you the temperature of the thing that you are pointing on. Like this is 35.3. It's the sand temperature at night. The car temperature no is 43 at night. At night. What about the daytime? The daytime it should be uh, 70 for the metal. Yeah. If it's uh, the sand, the sand, the sand would be 50. So the metal would be 70, 75. We're looking for this camp that we're supposed to sleep in, but it's too late. The guy's not answering. It's midnight. Already sweating. Hell no. Humid. Bro. I don't know why it's humid. It shouldn't be humid in the desert. The desert's supposed to be just dry. Hot. So this guy's sleeping. He's not going to answer. So, I, I don't think so. so we got to. Nigga, see, he ain't going to come <laughs> out there with y'all. So I don't want to waste more time. Okay. I guess we got to go if, if we can't stay here. What do you think That's we should idea. do? If you want to knock the door randomly, I'm willing to. People that I never met before, I never contact before. You wanna try it? Yeah. Why not? And I'll be responsible of that. <sighs> yep, yep. Every video he does something. He he's down to do something that you just be like, just about white. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate the subscription, Master, because my name is to be tingling, bro. Like, nah, fam. <clears throat> just about white every you video right into somebody pot they was waiting on some strangers too you think it'll be okay yes it will be okay because all the people in the desert they're welcoming everyone and that's part <clears throat> of the culture mm -hmm. yeah, that look like a goddamn killers <laughs> i don't think that place can fit four people it smells like camel poop look look at this place dude usually this big building is the honor building that's how People they design. And I think that's <coughs> where we can find the worker. He's saying a lot of nothing. <laughs> he said this building is where. He accepted to welcome us, and he said there is no any problem. Even he don't need to call the owner to ask for Look at this nigga. permission for us to stay. That's very and kind. All of us are welcome anytime, as long as you want to stay, you can stay. 
What in the friendly neighborhood <laughs> neighbor is this? Look, homie don't even look like he supposed to be there. <laughs> oh, you just, you randomly lost in the desert? Come on, yeah, stay, come you on, good. Yeah. Worry about nothing. And then as long as you want. That's yeah. a normal guy yeah. I've never met him before. This really shows the hospitality of the Kuwaiti people. They're so welcoming. It's literally or maybe the we the problem because we're not used to this. Door of this guy's bed. He was middle sleeping. He woke up. He's like, "What's going on?" And now, five minutes later, he's making us a bed. <laughs> this guy, he's one one of the people in the neighborhood. He saw our cars, and he came here to to check on his neighborhood. Hi, how are you? Hi. So thank you. And and he's asking you us to find him at his shit, bro. place, which is next to here. And he said everything is ready, food and coffee and everything because he's already here. And he would like us to join him onto his camp. And this guy who has already prepared the place for us in this camp. I don't know this guy and I never met him. This is pretty amazing. Yeah. I've taken so many out of his comfort zone in his own country. He's yeah, never been here. Him out he wants me to sleep in the desert. No, man. <laughs> Are you sure? This is what we do in August in Kuwait. We uh, find Wait, random oh, people, oh. knock on doors and sleep. Hey, what oh, you doing over here? Hey, it don't matter. I got some uh, some snacks and, and treats over here. If you want to come and, and kick it, you know what I'm saying, come after you stay camp. over here, you come to my camp, bro. It's all good. What the I'm, I kind of got stuck for a minute because I'm just like, <laughs> these niggas is fighting over them now. This nigga done already put a big-ass quilt in the sand. I thought homie was going to let them stay inside. <clears throat> I just, I'd just... let you stay outside, too, of the property like <laughs> This Damn. is wild, bro. This is fucking Tell me, like, come here. Have you ever, no, have you ever no, no, done no, no, this no. before? I've done it in the winter, but not in the middle of the August, man. <laughs> you can go back to sleep. I'm sorry for bothering you. In general, there's no danger here in Kuwait. I mean, in the desert. In your whole life, have you ever experienced a traveler in the middle of the summer to come and stay with you? This is <laughs> our neighbor, he said, our neighbors left. Like, how, how do we have guests? He said, no one is visiting them in summer even people that they know they don't come they said we'll come in winter when it's better weather it's uh it's about one in the morning right now and i'm i'm like literally dying in this uh -oh. so like how do like how do you how do you sleep outside it's not too hot he works here one from sudan and one from india he works here he all sleep outside it's too hot this is not something i would huh? crave you know, back home, they would give you, like, ice-cold drinks. <coughs> oh, yes, lemonade. Very hot coffee. <laughs> it's hot outside. These niggas drinking hot coffee. But if you don't give me some fucking water. <laughs> right. And where the fuck is the stove that you made this shit on? Because I don't see a appliance in sight. These niggas just sleeping on a magic carpet. I'm done, bro. You're the problem, bro. Why you gotta add the magic part? You could have just said a carpet. Arabian Nights! Arabian <laughs> Oh, that's a Good classic. Thing I haven't seen that movie. I sure will have so many references. That's a classic right there. Mm, strong. Is this the Arabic coffee? It's very strong. I don't know how I'm gonna cancel with Ross. You drink this like before bed? <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Thank you for. Where's Thank Jasmine? You so much. <laughs> I ain't I seen the Jasmine. Why you I I can you show me. you the world. Oh, yeah. You still drinking? A sugary Arabic tea. <laughs> that's, that's some good shit right there. Look at the I steam. I cannot tell you how freaking hot it is here. Like, it's almost two in the morning and just. Oh, I go to appliances. Sweat. All right. Alright guys. <laughs> See you in the morning. I, think sleeping on the I don't even know if I get fall asleep with that coffee on my body and the heat. I'm just thinking about like polar plunges. <laughs> you always think of the opposite when you're in the other. I'm taking it off. Yeah, I put you in this situation. Oh man. <clears throat> I'm taking this this thing off. It's too hot. This thing will burn it up. Yeah, this boy red. Yeah, we're getting... <laughs> Getting redder, bro. It's one o'clock at night. This nigga. Oh, you see his vein popping out? This nigga burning. <laughs> this nigga got a fever. So it said, "Where's the rice wine? I know. Where's the rice wine?" Facts. That'll get you through. It is four fifty-six. 
Oh. Wow. Bro, what's up? Hey, wait. Yes. Dude, you're right. Amazing. Holy crap. Bad, to be honest. Then they go and put that shit. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Did you sleep at all? Not very well. Actually, I, we slept at This nigga was in the car. We woke up uh, 31. We slept in that car. <clears throat> Y'all. What? I, I'm just no. You keep going. I just I just couldn't. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. You know what's really funny about you is that you have a North Face hat on, yeah. and that they make like winter gear. Yes. But bro, look where we are. Bro. Right. What? Today's gonna be what? 52, 53. Around that for the air temperature and the road temperature or the Same. metal temperature, it's more. Insane. Insane. You're crazy. That you're Sa surviving. Alhamdulillah. It's scorching hot in this little house. <laughs> Man, it's hot in here, bro. Someone he was asking uh, Abu Brahim, why don't you sleep inside? He said it feels like oven. <laughs> no it way. does feel like an oven in here. I better do. These beans look awfully tasty. And you know what? If I get food poisoning, it happens. I mean, as I've gotten older, right my stomach next has gotten to a little bit weaker. So I've gotten food poisoning more and more often. Like in Iran, I had it recently in Turkey. If it happens again, it happens again. It's still worth it. What's so fascinating Sneaky about just don't give a fuck. I'm eh, going to McDonald's oh. everywhere I go. I know I love the cultures and wanting to get the food poisoning. Fuck it. <laughs> I can't do it, man. Mm -mm, nope, nope, nope. Life here, <clears throat> people just adapt to the environment, and that's just normal life for them. The same as in Yakutsk, Siberia, where I was a few months ago, the coldest city in the world. It was minus 40 degrees there, and the people were just living a normal life. Here, it's 200 degrees hotter. 200 degrees hotter. I still find people living a normal life. I think it's too early to complain that, that it's hot, right? Fun. Enjoy this moment because, according to what you will feel in a couple of hours, this is not hot. <laughs> That, that is some shit for just a hell of a disclaimer. Cause what you about to feel, ah, oh, you have no idea. So so eat your beans, my boy. <laughs> we got your your feet beans. Your feet beans. My favorite. Feet so beans and tortillas. Basically just minced beans. See, nobody, just <laughs> nobody wash their hands. Niggas need be be on a fucking carpet in the desert. I love it. Well, give me some of that bean dip. Just eating all this man food. Cold coffee. While drinking hot coffee. Even if the weather is hot, if the coffee is not uh, hot coffee and uh, he boil it himself, he doesn't feel the taste of it. He said, this cold coffee, I wouldn't drink it. Tell him that in America, we would only cool. drink cold beverages in the heat and nothing else. Even if they, he made the coffee and it became cold, he will reboil again and have it hot. To me, it's insane. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I just crave something really cold like this. So thank you, Faisal, for bringing yeah. this to me. You're welcome. <laughs> nope. Uh, calm before the storm. I love how they always pan from the feet up. <laughs> so you need some protections. <laughs> I got you all kind of sunblocks that are plus 50 uh, UV. That's what you need here. Plus 50 UV. Otherwise, I'm going to go back red. Sunscreen is vital out here. Yeah, I'm a joke color, Ross. Well, if I don't put that on, <laughs> I will be red as a cluster. The skin color difference, yeah? Here, mm -hmm. bro. Appreciate the subscription. About that time Truly of the morning where they're gonna Thank you. Oh, I'll cry. <sighs> barbed wire. Oof. They're hungry. What's good, y'all? Milking the cows on this glorious morning. Run with the cows. And, what cows? Uh, they're screaming. Okay. Oh, that's screaming, all right. That's more than a scream. That's, that's a passion scream. Oh, damn. Oh, 
over here, Saheed. <laughs> Someone said that camel's molding. Ah! Hey. Ooh, oh, Saheed, my boy. <laughs> You got the magic touch. <laughs> baby. Guess what day it is? <laughs> oh. Yeah, look, look at his face. Oh. She is the guide of the whole group. We call her in Arabic Rahul. Whenever she goes, all of them would follow her. Anywhere. I want you to ask her to sit down. So you do that by saying and pull her, her head down. With the head down. He got do uh, uh, I don't know you. Right. Wait, nigga, you sit down. Yeah, you don't pull too hard. You don't want a repercussion. It's so nice to feel AC. Last night was like sleeping in a swamp. Oh, <laughs> it's only man. gonna get hotter from here, man. This Good gotta job. be the prequel to Aladdin. Over here. Give me some of that. I'm playing with you, That's the weirdest thing ever. Another one, another one. Give me some of that, yeah. Oh, oh. Crackhead. Oh, damn, bro. Give me some of that. Hey, you got okay. some for me? Good job. No more. One more. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Give me some of yeah, that. You got some. You got some. You got some. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bye bye, guys. Oh, Shaw, you was rubbing me off first. <laughs> right, come on, act like you weak. Don't act like you ain't you ain't been to my extremities, my lower parts. Forty nine, fifty point nine. He was shooting the ground with the temperature gun to show how hot it is. He's riding around in, in the, the damn highway, <laughs> trucks. <laughs> Habibi, Habibi, where are we? We are at Dreamland Farm, our family farm. Hopefully, you would see something special today. Inshallah. Inshallah. We need like secret access to get in here. It's not open to the public. All of a sudden, it's green everywhere. <laughs> Thank you, Suleiman. He got me a lovely sunny hat. All right. It helps tremendously. All Kuwaitis have these really thick water bottles that keep water cold for like 24 hours, even in the hot sun. That's this so very, very nice. Yeah, you definitely need that to have hydration. Room for a sponsor. Where are we now? Yeah. This is the birds area, and you can see how are all covered to be in the shade to have a better temperature. Actually, in uh, some very hot days, we use this uh, kind of AC to make the place colder. Faisal, what, what is this like beautiful greenhouse? This is the greenhouse where we grow banana. Fruits, uh, vegetables, okay. they're all inside. We can fix the temperature. What kind of fruits are here? Orange, banana, acadonia, team, mango. Banana. Tastes better when you pick it yourself. Wow. Ooh, a fig. Oh, sweet. Even when it's 52 degrees Celsius outside. Still sweet. You can still grow sweet figs. Mm, that's good, bro. Yeah, this, this idea to have an air condition or a cold air for the pool area. This is basically MTV Cribs. Brill. Right. With <laughs> the hot version. The hot version of MTV Cribs, man. It actually feels it feels breezy here. Feeling cold. That's the temperature. When it goes up, it makes you think how to make cold area. So actually when you ask me about feeling 50, feeling 52, we don't live in 52. We live inside the house, we live in cold places. We just spent five minutes moving from car to house, from house to farm. Yeah. I feel it exactly. <clears throat> Pretty cool that we found an oasis literally Sounds in the right. middle of the desert. Uh, that music kind of... I recently went <laughs> to Asana. So instrumental. Oh man. 
invested in this took a turn I kid you not it oh, feels Russia. Than that. oh okay it almost feels like a steam room and a sauna because of the humidity <laughs> i don't know i was not so since i'm here. jumping in that so water they just had like a fluke rain <laughs> right. a couple days ago and maybe that's what brought the humidity but it's brutal faisal has an egg let me see it and we are about to crack it on his car they don't care about his paint job an egg outside in the teeth i was just about to say Familiar. Where are you getting these eggs from? You're just wasting. Okay. It's too hot, man. It's too hot. Shit, cooking. The car is 122 degrees Celsius. The egg is kind of going downhill because the car is slanted, but you can see that it's already cooking after 20 seconds. Don't give a fuck about the paint job. Yeah. That is a cooked egg. Where? Well done, more 30 seconds. That's it. Visiting Faisal's oasis was a really cool experience, but what was even more impressive was his friend's ambition to literally create a sustainable and eco-friendly city in the Kuwaiti desert. And yes, he works in the middle of summer. How you doing, man? Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi, Ennis. Oh, you're Drew. Drew, nice yeah. to meet you. So then he got a button up with a T under it. <laughs> uh, we're designing this and uh, implementing this to be able to rely on itself for water energy as well as uh, for food uh, sources so for example we're using the plantation or uh, different kinds of plants to establish the system to hold more water reducing the seepage of uh, heat from underneath and increasing the surface area or the depth of the wall to reduce the delay of heat transfer from the exterior to the interior for our climate we have to create thick mulch, 10 to 15 centimeters because of this uh, breaking down of the organic matter all of this mm. have converted into this good topsoil usually in arid zone or in our hot dry climate we don't support having exposed ponds but here we have an exposed <laughs> pond and there is no cooling so the, the yeah where's the weed system. but still you see the water level is good these stay are stay off the weed. Yeah. And there are different, uh, maybe the dragonflies have uh, finished their shift, but they just uh, left. See the, the koi shift. over there, or the goldfish <laughs> over there. And then the big one, where is it? Usually when a I... yeah. yeah, big uh, koi. Yeah. So we don't go on and uh, haphazardly start establishing an aquatic system without creating this microclimate half shade and half sun and create these kind of ecosystem it's amazing how you can make life in such hot weather <clears throat> with this is the example to show that you could yeah. create a system without requiring significant energy input and in this kind of uh, hot climate with turtles different fish as well as different uh, microorganisms <clears throat> with, with also spiders and different uh, living yeah. I'm flying the drone right now and it says temperature <laughs> Temperature iPhone needs to cool down before you can use it. Hey yo <sighs> Well oh. the drone is about to fall out the sky going. Dude it says I freaked out for a second because I thought it stopped working. Yeah his drone would have been gone too hot, oh, But it came back Damn dude wow. It came back we're good I've come to the realization that it's harder to shoot videos in extreme heat than extreme cold. Because in Yakutsk, my, my camera worked just fine. We had no problems, only frosting. But in the, in the extreme heat, the iPhone and the Sony oh, no, oh, just no. start working. Yep. Sometimes the drone could lose connection. It yeah. happens. Most of the times the drone just stops. Like if you're using your phone to fly the drone, mm -hmm. the phone just stops and the drone is lost. It's middle yep. of the day right that now. That shit expensive. I'm going to do a little personal challenge to see if I can stay outside for one hour without getting Just shelter. Here, bro. Without having water. Yeah, man. It, I don't know yeah. what it is that he likes to take these challenges that are, you know, life-threatening. Especially when you're not used to that. <clears throat> yeah, bro. Yep, like you that. said, we'll, we'll watch. You. What about white? <laughs> see if I can do it. I'm not kidding you guys. It is really that hot outside. It's just like no shit. Makes me almost makes me want to puke. <laughs> it's like uncomforting, yeah. dizzy. It's not only the heat coming down; it's also bouncing off from the ground. <laughs> It'll put me in cold weather any day, but it's a combo really on this me. boy. Actually, I want to know your guys' thoughts. Comment below. What, could you stand extreme cold or extreme heat? Which one do you prefer? 
<sighs> stream neither. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Just them cold days we've been having down here. I know it's nothing in comparison to some of these places. I don't know, bro. As long I don't know, man. That's because you ain't felt extreme heat past what we have, like with this. But we we're, we're used to some some heat. We used to heat. Not extreme stream heat, but we've I think this year has been one of the hottest years. Well, last year, I think we got what was the hottest? Like maybe one or like 110, but it felt like 120, 130. Like it's been, we've gotten high <laughs> and we used to the humidity. So if I yeah. had to choose, really had to choose, I'd probably do heat because the cold negative, negative. Oh, nah, bro. The only reason why I probably agree, there's one night I fell asleep at one of my aunt's house in Louisiana. Uh-huh. Of course, one of the little houses, of course, um, <clears throat> it's agreeing with all the stereotypes. That's what I'm saying, of course. But they didn't have AC uh-huh. and it was freezing Ooh. and I fell asleep with all my clothes on, shoes and everything. I never, you know, <laughs> and I, they had a little space heater in the room with me and my cousin and I couldn't, bro, I couldn't go to sleep because yeah. I was so cold. It was like nothing you could do. Yeah, just like I was just up, just shivering my ass off. So, yeah, nah. you know, um, we 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 are more used to the heat. So <clears throat> I I'll probably go extreme heat. I go extreme heat before the cold. I'm really bro. curious to know. <laughs> this is challenging. You don't you don't have to do it for more than like so thirty minutes at a time is brutal, which is why Kuwait is mostly stay inside. Duh. Let me check the weather here. See what the actual degrees is. Your phone going to work. My phone's work. not even working. It's so hot. Yeah. Can I try to swipe. Left, yeah. Right. Up, down. Say no, no nigga. Response. Get in the AC. The iPhone's just done. 129 degrees Fahrenheit. Right now. You see that? That's it's how hot it is. <laughs> Come back on. Wow. Damn. Damn. Hot. Nigga said, don't touch me. Oh, come on. Alhamdulillah. It's not quite 11 a.m. yet. It is 9. And he just worked. <laughs> it. It's illegal for workers to be outside of Kuwait between 11 and 4 in the summer because it's just so hot. It's a law. I'm not sure what this says. That's how you know that's bad. Might as well say it is freaking hot out here. Ow. It's been 45 minutes. Now, this <laughs> I don't even know why he's doing this type of challenge. Like, niggas from there ain't even doing that. Yeah, bro. I'm starting to get slow of, of talking because it's really, really getting to me. See how the sweat dripping in my face? Ain't, this ain't even uh, hot yeah. hours if it ain't even 11 yet. Light, but this is all wet from sweat. I'm really dying of thirst. Get your ass inside! Yeah, this is not good. I'm, actually, I'm seriously starting to feel dizzy. Oh, man. This is not good. Death for the really content. Really right now. <laughs> I've been playing yeah, that whole block. Right. right. Help! <laughs> Help! Help! Yeah, it's a breaking point. <laughs> My friend, you I must survive in order to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? yeah, yeah, yeah. Just dizzy. Get him, get him some water. Oh, it's not a challenge, Jenny. A sun can burn everything, even human beings. Oh, right. Yeah. Need to yeah. Put water. Oh, yeah. <sighs> this nigga yeah. almost cooked himself. Oh, you're right. Don't worry. Good. Eight point two. Because I've been outside. You got COVID? Is that COVID? No, no, no. no, no. Outside, you said you got COVID. Yeah. <laughs> so mind. Yes. You finish the video for me. You go shoot. <laughs> you you're staying in? Hold on. So I'll I'll do the remaining of the video. Forget about Drew, we're gonna keep him here in Wafrai <laughs> till he gets better. This, this nigga is still. Oh, this nigga there got heat stroke out there because he wanted to see how long he. That's exactly what his ass get. I mean, you fuck around. <clears throat> and he found out. Nigga almost killed himself for some damn views. He heat stroked himself, bro. <laughs> really? So you not feeling well. Of course he's not. He's really I'm show dead. You these freeze horses. Reported from the Netherlands. 
I know they're like, God damn, it's hot. Right. What the fuck? We from the Netherlands. We ain't Dying, trying to be this. Did you get some horse content? Yeah, some like, horse oh. content. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm alive. <clears throat> wow. Uh -oh. Look how beautiful she is. I'm gonna do that one. I breed this horse. If you, if yeah, you, don't want you breed to, horses, if you were to put a price on it, well, how much I, want, everything. I want. I feel she's like my daughter, so maybe half a million US dollars. No, no, less, well, less so that than that. Horse like, got smaller when he got too uh, close to it. She is expensive. You're proud of that one. Thank you. What's Thank her name? You. Her name is Bedra Al Fayha. Bedra Al Fayha. It's got a last name a great too. Great collection of horses. Thank you very much. That's Damio. His name is Damio. The horse kind is uh, Frisian. He's from Netherlands. Really? He's from Netherlands? Yes, exactly. <clears throat> close to the German border. This kind of horse, they have a special movement. They move like a hydraulic system. The hands up and down, different than other species of horses. I can say this horse. 10 to 15, quite thousand. Quite different. $40,000, yeah. Ooh. Oh, these niggas making money over there. Oh, yeah, bro. That's why they got a whole little compound. <clears throat> 40000 just for the horse, bro? Come on, bro. Damn, bro. That's a Zorro <laughs> horse. Thanks. I don't know how to ride a horse, so I don't want to ride it. No, no, you will. I don't know how. You will. Okay, what do I do? I'm a, I'm a beginner, bro. Put your foot. Teach foot. me how to doggy. <laughs> yeah, that's basically yeah, yeah. Yeah. the Indian version. Okay. Jump. Yeah. <sighs> Hey, well, yeah, the you know. teach me how to duggy. <laughs> teach me how to duggy. Both of them. Both of them We're part of the problem, bro. That's that's crazy. We are part of the problem. Cause all my buddies love it. All oh, my buddies love it. You, 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 and back it up and duggy. You, 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 buddy. You, buddy. Back it up, buddy. <laughs> Buddy, 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 buddy. Now you gonna get me canceled with you. <laughs> she had a duggy. <laughs> Towards me. Uh, pull back his brace. Back his brace. Like that, right yeah. and left. Okay, and how do we make him go? Kick with your leg. This is literally like my first time riding a horse. Okay, kick with my which which leg? Kick them together. Ah. Yeah. Looks like, ah. Wow. This is pretty cool. That's pretty amazing. Definitely worth the money. Of course, no, he yalla, don't know what he's doing. Yalla, yalla, yep. yalla. How, how long can he walk without dying? <clears throat> like he can walk forever? Like he can just keep going? Not in this temperature. Bro. Like for now, I can, uh, I can do it for. You can't walk forever. Minutes. Why with the horse? I guess this is what Kuwaitis do in the summer. <laughs> this is cool. It has been an amazing trip back to Kuwait. I survived barely. <laughs> Look, I'm still sweating bullets right now as I say this, but it's been really rewarding to learn about life in the desert and, and you know, people look after each other. If there's ever a problem, you the have family that are looking out for you. And that is really inspiring. <laughs> but next time, I'm definitely coming in the cooler months in the winter. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching. This guy here, boy, I swear. Sneaky just don't learn. <laughs> You know, man, learning. What is that? Oh my God, man! Hey, nah, we, man, we getting a rap money? Yeah, nah, bro. Forty k, forty k a horse. That horse is priceless. They didn't already got braids too. Yeah, a couple plaques. Yeah, yeah. How many views this video had? Uh, and probably black a lot. Horse? Yeah, two point four million. Yeah. Oh yeah, he he yeah he risking it for the biscuit. <laughs> Definitely did the hot biscuit. Yeah, <laughs> but nah, man. Hey, this was a very interesting video. The hey, I can I can deal with the heat as long as you got some AC. I can stay my black ass inside. Extreme cold. I don't know about that one. <laughs> yeah, and extreme anything really. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm yeah. good. I like to stay where it doesn't get too hot. Doesn't get too cold. I'm not gonna self and uh, flick <laughs> a heat stroke on me though. Not from the fucking views though. Mm -mm. You almost killed yourself. But hey, Back. if y'all enjoyed it, you already know what time it is. Make sure you like, subscribe. Let us know in the comments down uh, below what is the coldest temperature you've ever experienced and what is the hottest temperature. I think that'll be pretty interesting. Uh, I think out here in Houston, one of those. 
112. So one uh-huh. something was crazy. <laughs> but, but having like damn near triple digits for a month straight, <clears throat> that yeah. was insane. Like, yeah, I could still feel the pain, the agony. The yeah. Horror. Yeah. But uh, and now it's kind of cold. You feel me? Yep. Just coming up out the teens. What yesterday? Uh huh. Um. So we're experiencing it, 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 it as well. So let us know in the comments down below. But hey, remember to run up the like, subscribe, continue to spread love, be love. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace out. Already. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.